What's up you guys? My name is Brian. I just got back from sourcing for items to sell on eBay. Um, you can sell these items on uh, any used platform, eBay, Macari, Poshmark, anything like that. I personally sell on um, eBay, uh, but basically this is something that anybody can do to make some extra money on the side. You can do it as a business, you can do it as a side hustle. I recommend it as a side hustle over a business, but you can do it however you like. There's multiple ways to get inventory. I suggest anybody starting out, just find stuff around the house to sell. That's how I started. That's how a lot of people get started. Make your first sale and then you just learn how to get inventory and scale from there. Um, another way to get inventory for cheap is to go to uh, thrift stores like Goodwill or Salvation Army or your local thrift stores and find items for really cheap and flip them on these websites. Uh, that's what I did today. Uh, as you saw, I found a bunch of stuff. I went to four different Goodwills. Um, I just went to Goodwill today because I am a full-time teacher. I do get a 20% off discount on Thursday and Friday. So that's what I did today. 80% um, of that inventory came from one Goodwill. So I spent a lot of time in that Goodwill. And then the other three, I just picked up a few things here and there. So let's get straight into it. Here are all the items that I found in one day going to four different thrift stores. Something I forgot to mention is I mainly sell clothing and shoes. So that's what you're gonna see in this video. There are other things that I sell, but generally because I um, do this out of my apartment, uh, I don't have a lot of space. So I'm able to cram a lot of clothes and shoes into one space. So that's what I like to do. I do, um, you'll see, I think I picked up one electronic item, one game, and um, the rest is clothing and shoes. So. Uh, keep that in mind you guys will have to figure out what you like to sell if you don't like clothing and shoes that's fine you have to choose what what niche you want to do what you enjoy what you like i like clothes because i like to find clothes for myself this shirt i found at a thrift store for five dollars just a couple of days ago i believe at savers um and i love it i love it so much um I, i've never been like a fashionable person so because i hate i hated spending money on uh you know clothes um, so it works out for me. Now I'm able to find nice clothes uh, for really cheap. And my wife likes it as well because now I'm not just wearing t-shirts and basketball shorts all the time. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. The first item is this Wa Maker shirt. It's an old Western shirt. Um, I find these all the time. Um, this button isn't missing, by the way. It's just not... <laughs> It's not uh, but, um, buttons, but I find these all the time. I live in Arizona, so I find these all the time. And these sell really well for me. Generally, when I find these, um, they go for like the 40, 50 range. I actually don't know this. I've never found one like this, like this pattern. Usually, I just find like a button up, um, like pullover, half button pullover shirt or, or uh, something like that. Um, I don't know how this one's going to go for it. It might go for more. Um, I'm not sure. I got to look it up. But anytime I find this brand, it's worth a ton of money. Um, I love, I love selling this brand. They sell super quick. They get a lot of traction. So, um, yeah, great find there. Next up, we have this Disneyland denim jacket. Like denim does really well and D Disney does well. So, you know, I didn't have to look this up or anything. I just knew denim, Disney, good to go. Okay. Pretty much anything you find that's Disney outside of like a t-shirt is going to do well. And if it's a vintage t-shirt, it is going to do well. So, um, Disney does really well. Pick up Disney stuff. Next up is a mountain hardware shirt. I don't know what it is it exactly. It's like a cycling or like a hiking shirt. It's like a hiking shirt, um, like an outdoorsy type of shirt. Mountain hardware is a great brand. Uh, it's sold at, it's an REI, REI brand, I believe. Um, yeah, so it's like a hiking outdoorsy brand. Um, yeah. Actually, I have another one here. Where is it? This is another mountain hardware women's jacket it's like a nice fuzzy jacket here um oh and i should probably be telling you guys the prices of these huh i picked this up for um it was 6.99 but keep in mind 20 percent off and Mar Mount, uh, mountain hardware does very well like i said pick up mountain hardware This next brand I've sold a bunch of Bugatti. It's a tag right there. This brand does very well for me. Um, there's a little spot on there. I gotta. It's just dirt. I gotta um, get that off. But I've sold plenty of these. They do very well. I don't believe this one is foot cuff. No, it is. So um, I usually get about oh, a little over thirty dollars for these. Anywhere from like thirty to thirty-six dollars. 
Um, depending on condition, this is really good condition. Uh, I've sold them for ones that aren't in very good condition for like twenty six dollars. Um, but yeah, anywhere from thirty to thirty six, I would expect to get on them. Next up, we got this Eli Cattleman shirt. I've sold a decent amount of this brand. Um, I actually don't know what I'm gonna get for this one. This one's like a flannel material, um, which I've never sold from this brand before. Um, it's like an older Western brand. Um, usually I just sell their like button up shirts, uh, plaids, the solid black color, stuff like that. Um, the, I only sell the ones that are the snap buttons. Um, I don't know if they all are or not. I don't know, but make sure it has snap buttons. That's um, that's pretty huge. Um, but other than that, um, I would say just get the ones that look nice. It's hard. It's hard to say like which ones are gonna sell, which ones aren't. Um, you're gonna have to just have an eye for fashion, you know. But this one, um, it's like a it's like a nice flannel material. So I actually don't know what I'm gonna get for it. I'm assuming I can get a little bit more than um, the other Eli Cattleman shirts that are just like the regular, you know, like this kind of material. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to look it up. But this this uh, brand does get a decent amount of traction. You're going to see a few of these. Um, I've sold a few of this brand. It's called, I think it's called Ex Officio, something like that. Um, I've sold a decent amount of this brand. This is just a nice blue um, button shirt. Usually they're like, uh, you'll see some other ones here that are uh, vented. They're like hiking and fishing shirts. I don't know if they sell it at REI or not, but it's it's like a outdoorsy brand. Um, this one's not though. This one is a little bit more of like a dress up shirt, uh, although it doesn't have a zip pocket for, you know, going out and being able to keep things on you when you're hiking or whatever. So, um, this brand does pretty well, paid five bucks for it, 20% off. And, um, I've sold a few of it. They, they usually do pretty well for me. Um, the vented ones go for like 26, 27. Um, I don't know what this one particular one will go for. It's pretty nice. It's in really good condition, but, um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get the 26, 27 for it, but we'll see. I don't sell a ton of Nike stuff, um, but I don't know. This one was $5, $7, 20% off. Um, I just thought it was a cool pattern. I guess this is going to be kind of a um, experiment for me. I don't really know what I can get for this, to be honest with you. I don't sell a whole lot of Nike, but I thought it was a cool pattern. Women's jacket. Um, yeah, we'll see what I can get for it. It's kind of a cool item. Another ex officio shirt. This one is a vented shirt, as you can see. Um, so it's like a hiking, fishing shirt. Pretty nice there. Should be 26, 27 bucks. This one's an LL Bean wrinkle resistant shirt. Keep in mind, I don't pick up a ton of LL Bean. You shouldn't pick up everything LL Bean, but the wrinkle resistant does do pretty well. It demands some, um, some extra cash. So um, this is just a woman's button up shirt. Um, it's in very good condition. I'm hoping to get 25 bucks for it. You know, if it's a men's extra large, you might get 30 bucks for it. I'm hoping to get like 25, 26 bucks for this. This is a, I've actually never picked up this brand before. It is Fred Perry. I don't know what this is, but I looked it up and it looked like stuff was going anywhere from like $20 to $60. I don't know. They were kind of comes all over the place, but um, I just could tell it got a lot of traction and they're worth a lot of money. Um, and it's in very good condition. It's just a button up shirt uh and it has like the logo there um so i don't know i'll have to do more research to see what i can get for it but it seems like be able to claw get a lot for it so we'll see another one of these shirts this one is the same thing as the other one it's a vented shirt as you can see in the back here um so people like to you know buy these for hiking or fishing or camping or whatever um, and they get ruined really easily doing those things. So they don't like to keep buying them. They go to eBay and they buy them here. So I'm um, hoping to get 26, 27 bucks for this. I love this brand. This is an REI brand. I don't know if you can see the tag. It's kind of like blends in, but it's a cool shirt. This is the brand. As you can see, the logos are right here. It's like a shield. Um, it's just a button up shirt. Nothing crazy. It's not vented or anything, but um, this brand does really well. I probably won't get a ton of money for it. Um, I'd say anywhere in between like 20 and 25 um, but it's in very good condition and they sell really fast people like them so here I'd pick it up again I'm not being uh, like super picky right now like what I pick up it's not gonna demand a ton of money but it will sell uh, fairly quickly so I'm okay with that um, during these times this is a women's clothing brand it is J Jill it is a denim shirt 
jacket type thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is like the same, like a sister, like a kind of the same brand as J. Crew. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm assuming J. Jill, J. Crew. This is like the women's version. I don't know. Or because J. Crew has both. I don't know. I don't know how this brand works. I think they're a similar brand. But anyways, it does pretty well. Women's brand, denim, boom. I don't know how much it's going to go for. Um, I know, I think I have a shirt listed right now for like 27, 28 bucks from this brand. Um, it's kind of like a longer uh, shirt. Denim does really well. So I'm assuming I can get over 30 bucks for it. But I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to do uh, more comps and more research. I haven't sold a ton of women's clothing, so I'm not too familiar with it. Um, I just know it's a good brand and denim does well. This is a brand I've never sold before, but I know what it is, and I know they're worth a lot of money. Um, uh, Alpine Stars Jacket. Yeah, these do really well. These are worth a decent amount of money. Looked up comps. They're kind of all over the place. I'll have to do some more research. Um, so not sure exactly how much I can get for this, but um, this is a brand that does really well. So be on the lookout. Um, obviously, if you get like the, the harder jacket, men's jackets, they go for a lot. Um, but this one looks pretty nice. So I'm, I'm assuming I can get a decent amount of money for it. Again, trying to branch out into a little more women's clothing. These are jeans. They're not going to go for a ton of money. Um, picked them up for five bucks. I'm trying to get into jeans. I don't know them too well. Um, this brand is uh, LA Idol USA, New Fashion LA. I don't know. But anytime you see stuff like this where like the pockets just got crazy stuff going on, um, look up the brand. A lot of times they're worth money. So um, I don't know. I'm hoping to get maybe $27 for these or something like that. This is something that I probably wouldn't normally pick up, but it's in really good condition. It's a Callaway Polo. Um, it was five bucks, twenty percent off. Um, it's going to be pretty easy to list. Should sell decently fast, I think. Two X. It's a two XL in really good condition. Um, I think somebody will be happy with it. So, all right. This next brand I don't pick up too often um, when it's just like a regular shirt. This one's pretty unique. It is J. Crew, and it's a pretty nice like flannel shirt, and it's got the elbow patches here, which is generally a good indicator that something's worth money. To be honest, um, same thing with like, for example, like Ralph Lauren or something like that. A general Ralph Lauren shirt probably not gonna pick up, but it's got the elbow patches, probably will. So um, keep in mind. So same thing with this brand. Uh, I probably went to pick it up. If it was just this shirt, although maybe cause it is like a flannel shirt, I actually don't know what those go for, but just the regular button up shirts. Um, I don't pick up. Sometimes I pick them up for myself. Um, I like those shirts, but, uh, they don't really go for a ton of money. Um, you know, I mean, you might be able to get like $22 for them, but it's like just in that range. That's like, eh, I don't know if I want to pick them up. So, uh, but this one, I think they generally go for about 30 bucks. I picked this one up for $6.99. Uh, twenty percent off, um, and yeah, expecting to get like um, thirty. I think some of them were going for like thirty-five, so we'll see how I price it. Uh, price it, maybe like thirty-two. All right, this one's going to be kind of an experiment for me. This is that same brand that I've been showing you, Ex Officio. However you say it, um, but it's an XL, pretty big and good size. It's in really good condition. Um, I think somebody will like this pattern. Um, the only thing is it is part rayon, which is generally like a sort of a cheaper material. So um, I don't know, usually the ones I pick up are um, all nylon, either nylon or polyester. So this one's polyester and rayon. So um, never sold this kind of shirt with this brand, um, but this you know brand gets a decent amount of traction and it's in really good condition. I think it's pretty cool, good size. So it's gonna be kind of um, an experiment, see how, see how it sells doesn't sell I won't pick up the rayon ones anymore and I'll just pick up the uh, you know the the vented ones this is a pretty good find here I'm actually gonna try this on and see if it fits it's a uh, Peter Millar summer comfort the ones that say summer comfort generally are gonna be worth more money than just a regular Peter Millar um, and usually I just pick up their polos but I've never seen something like this it's like a button-up shirt um, but it's like a really like stretchy material, so it's still like a golf material. I don't know, it's really nice. I'm gonna try it on, and see if it fits me. Um, if not, I'm gonna sell it. Picked it up for $6.99, 20% off. And I don't know what these go for. Um, I think the polos generally go for like 30 or just under 30. Some of them over 30, depends, just depends on 
you know, the, the pattern and everything. So I'm assuming this is going to be more, you know, maybe, maybe in the high thirties. I don't know, maybe more. I don't, I don't even know. I got to do research on it, but it's definitely going to be worth a decent amount of money. All right, we're gonna get into some shoes. Now keep in mind, I do have a box of shoe supplies, which I can make another video about how I fix up my shoes. But all these shoes are gonna look way nicer when I sell them than they do now. So keep that in mind. Um, this shoe right here, I've sold this brand before. Um, it's a handcrafted brand called Bull Boxer. And um, these don't look quite as nice as the other ones I sold, but they're still pretty nice. I think the other ones I sold for like $60. So. Um, I'm hoping I can get at least 40 bucks for these, um, maybe more. I'll have to do comps on this exact model um, and the type of shoe is, but we'll see. Um, they're in really good condition. Once I put some, um, uh, you know, uh, conditioner, leather conditioner on it, they're going to look real nice. So I only got these for five bucks, 20% off. So a little over, uh, so what, four bucks. So um, really good uh, cop here. And I want to say they're my size. I might even keep these. These are kind of cool. All right, next, uh, Morel, uh, like slip-on shoes. Uh, Morel does really well. These were only five dollars, twenty percent off, um, and they're really small. They might take a little bit. They're only like what size six? Yeah, so they might take a little bit of time to sell, um, but they're in really good condition. Uh, they're gonna be really light to ship. They're nice and small. I can just put them. Um, I think they're under a pound, so I could ship them first class. If not, I'll throw them into a. Um, a padded flat rate for seven bucks, um, seven fifty or whatever it is, and um, yeah, this this brand generally sells really fast. This brand is Riker. I I've sold this brand or no, I don't think I've sold this brand before, but I've I've bought them before. I've there it's currently in my inventory. Um, whenever I look up comps, they seem to do pretty well. Um, so we'll see how these do. Um, but they're pretty nice looking shoes, pretty quality. I mean, they were five bucks, twenty percent off. I didn't get at least thirty bucks for them. Um, hopefully, forty, but um, you know, or or, or mid thirties, hopefully. But um, if not, I'm pretty sure I can get at least thirty bucks for them. So. These are some Timberlands, very nice condition. They're eight bucks, twenty percent off. Um, you know, they got little marks on them, but once I put um, some polish on them, they're gonna look great. They're gonna look um, like brand new. So. Uh, once I fix these up, they're gonna be really nice. You want to make sure you look at things like the back, how much wear is on them, stuff like that. And these are hardly worn, very good condition. I don't know what I can get for these. I actually haven't sold a lot of Timberlands because usually at Goodwills they price them at like twenty dollars most of the time, so I can never pick them up. Like they're like that sort of like mid stage, you know, uh, brand where they're not super expensive, where like not a lot of people know about them. They're like expensive but not too expensive, so generally the Goodwill employees know about the brand, so. Um, yeah, generally they're like 20, 25 bucks. So I, I don't sell a lot of them. So I actually don't know the price of them, but they're only eight bucks. Um, I'm assuming I can get at least 40 bucks for them. So we'll see. All right. This next brand, Johnson and Murphy, um, sold this brand in the past. Very good brand. Uh, it's not the hard bottoms, which generally will go for a lot more money, but they were only five bucks, 20% off. So couldn't pass them. Uh, they're in very good condition. They do have a little bit of creasing here, but I'll put some uh, conditioner, which will get maybe like 20% of that out. And they will look like they're in pretty good condition. So the, the bottoms still look very good. Um, the bottom of the sole, the bottom here, it looks good. Everything, I don't see any scratches or anything, just a little bit of creasing, that's it. So um, I don't know what the ones that aren't don't have uh, hard bottoms go for. I mean, I, I'm hoping to get at least 30 bucks out of these. More Johnson and Murphy again. These were five bucks. These ones actually do have the hard bottoms. Um, they're tassel loafers. Again, hoping I get over thirty bucks for them, maybe thirty-five. We'll see. All right, these next shoes. I've actually sold ones almost identical to these. Uh, they're Echo. Oh, you can't really see there. Echo sandals. I think the other ones I sold that were exactly like these, I sold for like forty-seven dollars, but they were in brand new condition. Like they they were used but they've never been worn so these ones definitely been worn um hopefully i can get 35 bucks for them um i paid five dollars for them uh 20 percent off and you know they're only yeah, they're kind of large but they'll definitely fit in a padded flat rate for 750 if they're under a pound they'll be able to ship them flat rate or uh uh first class that's the word i'm looking for all right 
All right, I have another shirt for you guys. Another uh, Eli Cattleman. Doesn't say Cattleman. I'm assuming it's the same brand. It's Eli 1878, which I'm pretty sure is Eli Cattleman. It's a Western brand. Um, has like little, uh, what are these, horseshoes or something on them. Um, this type of pattern generally goes for a lot with like the little line here and the, the whatever pattern. Sometimes it's roses or whatever. Um, generally do pretty well. Um, what are, I think you get like 36 bucks for this. Maybe a little bit, excuse me, a little bit less. Uh, but these generally, this type of pattern generally does pretty well. All right, this next item, uh, again, I don't tell, sell too many electronics or anything like that. Um, just when I see something that I think is worth money, I'll look it up real quick. But I don't, sell, I don't like to sell too many electronics because I don't like to keep boxes around that are already made for stuff like this and uh you know i don't want to to wake up one morning and have eight electronic things that need to be um shipped out and i need to go out and find boxes and sh take the time to you know bubble wrap them and and, and uh, ship them out when i have to go to work and i get by the time i get off work i have to drive home and try to get that all done um by the time the post office closes because um, I do do one day shipping, so uh, I don't want to have too much stuff like this in my inventory. But if it's worth money um, and I, I can get it for cheap, I'll pick it up. Um, so yeah, I think I got this for like ten bucks, twenty percent off. So it's like eight bucks. Um, it is a Singin WR2. I think I saw comps on these going for like fifty dollars plus shipping or seventy dollars shipped. Um, probably gonna cost about fifteen twenty bucks to ship out. Um, so pretty good profit there. Um, if I can see stuff like this, I mean, it's not too large, so I don't want to need like a huge to store a huge box for it. So that, and that's another thing that kind of made it more desirable for me to pick up. All right, guys, the last thing, if you made it this far, congratulations, please like and subscribe. I got one more item for you this is a personal item it is oh sorry that was too loud headphone user sorry it is a super mario chess collectors edition my wife and i have been wanting to um find new things that we've got to do together um we're both kind of interested in learning chess and i saw this and was like what a, you can't get a better chess board than this so why not get it so yeah we're gonna play some super mario chess and have a good time um hope you guys liked this video that is it for me i have a ton of other stuff i'll make some more videos as you can see here i have a big pile of clothes that are ready to be um uh you know taken pictures of and listed put into inventory and all that good stuff so um i have tons of more of these videos to come but that is what all that i picked up just in this haul so i wanted to keep it to that so hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and like and subscribe and have a good day.